praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice, hallelujah, and be glad. Glory be to God. This is Minister Joanne Harris. This is Word Faith Ministry. Glory be to God. Oh, ministry full of the Word of God and faith. Hallelujah. Thank God for this blessed day. We're going to go into the throne of grace this morning, first of all. First, we're going to do that. We're going to go before him. Then we're going to get into the word of God and see what God has to say to us today. Glory be to God. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come this day, Lord God. We come this morning thanking you, God, for a brand new day. God, that you kept us. You watched over us, God. And we thank you this morning. We just want to come and say thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Because it's you, Lord God, that kept us. It's you, Lord God, that watched over us. You gave your angels charge. You gave them command to keep us while we were free. And we just want to come and honor you and thank you, Lord God, for a brand new day. Brand new faith, victory that has come through your son, Jesus Christ. Now we can walk in that access of victory. And we thank you, Lord God, as we go into your word, that we will have an ear to hear, God, what the spirit of you saying to us today, what your spirit is saying to us today, Lord God. We thank you as we stand before you, God, to hear and honor your words today. Take heed and apply them to our body. Let us hear a spiritual ear and let us hear God. Let our hearts open to what your word is saying to us today. Father, we thank you for this blessed day that we allow, that you allow us to be in your presence right now, Lord God. We thank you as we come standing today on your word. There are no weapon formed against us from the enemy shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us judgment. Father God, we speak right now in the name of Jesus that those tongues is condemned. Father God, check every word that comes out of my mouth. Hide me, Lord God, that there are none of me but all of you, Lord God. Have your way. I surrender myself into your hands right now. At your will, let it be done. Father God, that you speak that we'll have an ear to hear and take heed and obey. Thank you, Lord God, because we know you see everything. You sit high and you look down on every one of us. God, you take care of the, the just as well as the unjust. And we just want to come and give you thanks and give you praise for your son giving us this opportunity because of Jesus Christ, your son. We have a right to come before the throne of grace only because our trust is in him. Thank you, Lord, for this blessed day and this message. Lord God, check every word. Touch my lips from the cold of your altar, Lord God, that every ear will have an ear to hear what you are saying, Lord God. If we give thanks and we give praise for this blessed day that you allow us right now to come into your presence. We give you thanks and we give you praise, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory be to God. We know this is the day that the Lord has made and he told us to rejoice and be glad. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We just thank you. Glory be to God. Today, the word of God coming from us to know it. We need to know God's will for you. God's will for you. We need to know what God's will. Sometimes we don't walk in his will. And he wants us to know that his will be done. Come on. His will because he the one that directs us. Glory be to God. Let's go into the word of God. We know 
We want God's will to be done in your life. Come on. God's will, first of all, start out with repentance. Come on. Of your sin. Come on. That's the first thing we can start off with God's will is to what? To repent of our sins and trust in the Lord. Come on. With all your heart. Trust him with your life. That's what God's will is. Is to what? Repent of my sins and what? Trust him with my life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is the will of God starting off. The first thing that we must do is what? Repent. Come on. And then what? Of our sins. Repent of whatever wrongdoing, wherever thing, because we all have come short of the glory of God. Every day, we must say, Lord, forgive us, because only he knows. When we're in his will, only he can correct us and know where we fall in short at. So that's why he's saying to us to know God's will. Come on. God's will for your life. What is God's will for your life? Not for man to know your will for your life. It's for God, you to know what God's will. And that's the first thing we must start to accept his son, Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. And what? Let God, what? Guide your life. Come on. The second thing that, that God want to do is what? God's will to give you the power to live this life. The power to live this life. Glory be to God. And also his will is to be with you every step of the way. Every step of your way. This is God's will for your life. To know that you're depending and you're trusting on him for every step in your life. Glory be to God. God's will is to take care of us. Come on. He wants to take care of all your needs. The first thing he wants us to do is to what? Accept his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, and believe that he died for your sins. And that means you're going to repent and confess. Come on. And say, Lord, I believe, come on, that you sent your son. God, I believe that. Jesus is my way. Come on, that's your repentance and forgive me for my sins. Oh, and he will forgive you. The blood of Jesus is continually, come on, washing, washing clean each and every day for those that what? Say yes, I need to say yes, I need your will to be done in my life, God. And his will, first of all, and that's the first thing he needs you to what? Accept his son. And knowing that through Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus will wash you clean. Because you believe that he went to the cross. That you believe in your heart. That's the first thing of the will of God. Until you accept that will, God's will cannot be done. That's the first thing. And we know that once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and say, and knowing what his will is for your life, all other things, all other categories will fall in place. He would, you know, it's his will to take care of you for all your needs. You know it's his will to walk with you every step of the way. But the first thing he wants is you to give your life unto Christ. Knowing that you don't, this life is not yours anymore because Jesus Christ bought it with a price. And that was a blood bought price. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's get into the word of God. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. And eat laughing. Glory be to God. And he says this. He said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Come on. Thoughts of peace 
and not of evil. Glory be to God. To give you the expected. Come on. In. That's me. To give you a prosper in. To give you a success for in in your life. This is the way of God. This is what God said. This is my, I know your thoughts. I know what, what the will for you. I know the plan for your life. That's why we are, Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's in Matthew the prayer. Let your will be done, God, on earth. As it is in heaven. So that means I give surrender my life unto him. Unto Christ. Now the will of God should work in your life. So he said, I know the will for you. I know the plan for you. I know. Come on. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Isaiah. God said, I know the plan. That I have, I mean, you know, God's plan and we trust in His plan is good and it's not what evil. Come on, Isaiah 55 and 8 tells us this For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither, come on, are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Now, so then let us know. It got to be God's will in your life. You got to start asking God, what is your will for this, God? What is your will for that? And just wait on it. Because he said, I already know which way to take you. I know how to lead and guide you. What he said? He said, for my thoughts are not. Your thought. That means stop trying to think only and fix it your way. Stop trying to let your will be done and let God's will be done in your life. Let God's will be done for you in your life. God's will for your life. Not what man telling you, everybody wants you to pull you here, you should be doing it. Everybody got a peace. But we, our, it's, some opinions is good, but you still got to go to God. Because he said, your thoughts, so that means nobody's thoughts is not the thoughts that God has for you. If we pay attention and start listening and hear God saying, God, what is your will? He's going to do it. He's going to guide you. Because you're asking him, what is your will for this situation? What is your will for that? I'm a peculiar person. I'm always saying, Lord, what is your will for this? Am I going the wrong direction? Help me to see your will in me. A lot of times people may say you're stubborn or whatever they may say. But as long as you know what God has said to you, you follow his will. And when you follow after God's will, then you know what he said in Jeremiah 29. That what? His thoughts. Come on. For I know the thoughts. That's what he said. That I have. Now, that I think. Not what you think. Not what the other man, uh, man thinks. Not what other mean people. Not what they think. God knows. So you, it may look good. Come on. To you, because what everybody, oh, this here, I got this, and this here happened to me, and this here was, girl, let, and then here you go running, trying to do what they do. That's what's the will of God for them. What is God's will for you? This is what God's saying. Let, let us know what is his will is. That's what the word, the message said, God's will for you, for your life. Come on. For your life. What is, is God's will for your life? And we know the first thing you need to start off is, is those that have not even accepted Christ and those that even have accepted Christ. This is the will it is. First of all, is to repent of your sin. That means accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now, 
the process of God's will begin to what? Work in your life. Glory be to God. His will will begin to what? Work in your life. But we know what Jeremiah saying. He's saying in there, he's telling Jeremiah, my thoughts for my thoughts. Come on. For I know. That's what he's saying. I know what you need. I know how to direct you. I know. This is what he's saying. I already know what you need before you even ask me this. I already know which way you need to go with that situation. I already know how to guide you away from evil. I already said it in my word. You just got to trust my word. Glory be to God. Trust him. Trust God and his word. Then when you trust him and obey what he say, then what? You're walking in his will. You're walking in the will of God. Glory be to God. You're walking in his will. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So we know now that he said in Isaiah, for our thought is not his thought. Help us, Lord. Help us. To know what your will is. Help us. And how we do that is to follow. Knowing that whatever I'm thinking on this situation, I still need to go before the throne of grace and say, Lord, I come before you. You see this here. Because God sees everything. In his eyes, it looks and behold all things. So I must what? Know what God's will is. For this and for that. He said, I, God's will is to what? To order every step. Come on. Let, let God order your step of your life. Let God order. God know what you need. Let him supply your need. Come on. Now, those are the wills of God. What he said, God's will is to take care of you and your need. So that means what? God said, I supply according to my will. Not according to what we, we want to say, Lord, give me this, give me that. You can ask, Lord, you make a way. Supply my need for this. Then allow God to know what you need. Some things we, we think we need, God knows best well, how to give it to you. We get to thinking of how we must do it, and this is the way I want to do things. This is how I want to do it. But we got to what? Acknowledge God in all your ways. Let's go there. Hallelujah. This is the word, and we got to what? Rejoice in what God's saying to us today. Let us rejoice in what God's saying to us, and let us take heed. Let us take heed to what he's saying to us. Every one of us. That means stay in the will of God for your life. Stay in the will of God for your life. Glory be to God. Let's go to Proverbs 3. 10 and 5 says this. He says, trust. Tem depend on me. Trust in the Lord. Come on. Depend on the Lord. Let God will. Trust him with your life. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all thine heart, with all you got. Trust him with everything. That means I trust God with everything. I don't care who come to you looking good, talking good, but you still got to know what God's will is. You still, I don't care who Come and say these things. I still got to know. Do you line up with God's will in my life? You still got to know what God's will is. Praise the Lord. This is important. That we know. That's like he said. You don't know. I know these thoughts. That I have for you. And it's good. And not evil. So if we allow God to direct us, then we'll know we'll follow.
following in the right direction because what? The good will follow you because you are following the right one. Glory be to God. Let's continue. He said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Glory be to God. Meaning what? Don't don't try to think on how you're going to do it and, and trust your own way. Don't lean to your way of doing it, but trust. The words say trust in the Lord for it. If your bill, you don't have the money, you don't know where you're going to get the money, trust the Lord. Go to him. God, you said you'll supply my need. Now they're about to, to take this. They're about to do this. What is your will? Come on. God knows what you can handle and what you can't handle. He knows all these things. But sometimes we have to ask God. We go before God, before things even, before God work it out. Come on. Every, every step of the way, God want to be there. He wants you to trust him. God, what should I do? Should I wait? Or should I just allow you to be patient and wait on you to fix this? Sometimes we see what others get and we just jump and get over overhead. Yes, we do. We get overhead on things. We know we need them, but allow God to, to guide you every step of the way. Come on. Let him lead you every step of, of the way. Let him supply that need. And when he supplies that need, he going to, you watch God in your life. It's going to be good for you because he's going to give you peace in the midst of it. Glory be to God. Because the word says us the blessings of the Lord. Come on. Make it us rich and he adds. No sorrow. We're going to go there. Let's go finish this. It says, in all thy ways. Come on. In all your ways. That's me. If I feel like I'm doing something wrong, that's all my ways. Come on. If I feel like good in the bad way, in all your ways. Come on. He said, in all your ways. My way. I need to know, Lord, is this the right way to go? Or am I walking out of your will on this? I got to ask. Them, them my way, that means my bad way when I want to go wrong. I need to say, Lord, is this the right thing that I'm supposed to be doing? He said, I'm going to direct your path. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he, what? Shall direct your path. But the problem is because we can't see God. Then we can't wait. We can't. I can't wait on something that I can't see. That's the way we get. Because we're in this flesh. But God says, we're in this flesh, but we're not of this world. See, fleshly things. Come on. And this is what he's saying. In all your ways, acknowledge me. All. He said, your ways with ass on. Not single. It said, in all your ways, that means many ways that you have in everything. Come on. God want to walk with you every step of the way. God's will want to be in your life fully in every way. And this is what he said. He said, and I'll direct your path. Come on. Be not wise in your thine own eyes. That means don't be trying to put your, your trust in your say, Well, I know what I need. I know, but before you ask God about what is his will. Sometimes God says, I'm gonna give it to you, but I gotta I got to line you up with my will and let my will be done. We want it, but we got to let God will. We gotta trust him. Say, I done asked it, then I believe it. I done asked, and I believe God's will going to be done. See, I don't know, the devil don't know, and the people don't know. So that means don't nobody know but God. So therefore, we have to what? Let God will. He said, what? Be not wise. Don't be trying to be wise in your own eyes or your own thoughts of how it should be worked out. 
I may even need to go get a loan. Do you fully in debt? I may even need to do this here. That's not trusting God. That's why he said, don't be wise in your own eyes how to do it. Come on, let God lead you and say do it. If he tell you to do it alone, he's going to tell you how to, how to, how to pay it. And he's going to give you the supply to pay it. Glory be to God. This is the word of God. What did he say? Don't, don't be wise. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. That means trust in the Lord. And depart from evil. Trust God. See, when you trust God and trust his will, then you know that his will will be done. When you are not at him, because you, we heard what Jeremiah said, I know the thoughts that I have for you. And it is expected you, not evil, but good. To give you what? A expected end. Mean a successful life. A prosper life. Come on, a peaceful life. A lot of times we think prosper if I, I don't have a bunch of things and, and looking good, then I'm not. I'm blessed. You are blessed because you're in good health. You're blessed because He's taking care of every need. He's giving you this day your day to breathe. He's supplying every need today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow is sufficient for its own sake. I mean, it, whatever go on tomorrow, that is not my problem. My problem today is to trust God today. Tomorrow is already going to be done when that day God allow you to come that day. Because you may not make it that day. Thank God for the day. And thank Him for His will today. Thank Him for His blessings today. For the word tells us in Jeremiah, for God know, come on, he know your thoughts. We went to Isaiah, I know the thoughts. Your thoughts is not my thoughts. Come on, your ways are not my way. So that's let us know today that God's will got to be done in our life. For God know the thoughts that I, that's what he said, that I think, not what you think, but what I think. God said what I say. I know what I'm thinking. Well, you, this must go. I know the will for you. I know the plan. That's what he's saying. I already got the plan for your life before you was even born. But when I put you in your mother's womb, I already knew the plan for this child. I already knew that plan. I knew the plan. Come on, that's what he's saying. That I have for you. Come on. Plans what? Said the Lord. He said the Lord says this. This is not just me saying it. It says the Lord. Then he said thoughts of peace. Now God wants you to have peace. We're going back to Jeremiah 29. He wants you to have peace in your life. Come on. God wants you to have peace. What did he say? Thoughts of peace. Not to be worried. Burdened down with a lot of these cares of the world. That's why he told us to acknowledge him. With these things. That I can direct you. And direct you out of you. That means trust in me. And don't lean to your own understanding. But trust me with it. Trust me with that church, with your children. Trust me. If I tell, because if I say give them over to me, you got to lay everything at the throne. That's why he said you can come boldly to the throne of grace. In a time of need. So whatever you need, if it's your husband, your wife, not acting right, or the husband, take them to the front. Now it's God about it. Take everything to the front. 
of grace where there are help for your need. This is what God's will is, uh, the trust. He tried to get us back to trust and not lean into our own understanding, doing what the world doing, everybody else doing it. But does it line up with God's will? It may look good, but it's a God will for your life. A lot of times people get this, get this, and we'll get our eyes off of God looking at what everybody else getting and how they doing it. And you need to trust God for you because that's God's will for them. Whether they trust in God or not, you need to know what God's will for you. And when you put your trust in him and the knowledge in him for your will, lean not to your own understanding about it, but I trust you, Lord. God, this. I may not understand a lot of things, but I trust you with all my heart. I'm coming to you with it. And I'm acknowledging you, God, that you said you are directed for me. Direct my path on this and on that. You know what you're going through. But today the word is telling you, acknowledge God with you. Knowing that, like he said in, in, in uh, Jeremiah, that he wants to give you peace. Come on. He said, and not of evil. And if you're struggling with that, that is evil. If you frustrated about something, that's not God. Because God is peace, God is love, God is joy. If there are no joy and no peace in your life, then you got to know I'm out of God's will. I'm out of God's will. Praise the Lord. And what he said, I want to give you peace and not evil. And I want to give you what? An expected end. That's me, a success life all the way if you trust me all the way abraham was a father of faith because he trusts god for everything even we even messed up he still followed god direction got back up he still did the right thing he just trust god and that's why he was called the father of faith he was so blessed and we as coming down in that faith we are blessed because we are descending from abraham and we still what are blessed because abraham had the faith of christ had never come but his faith was still anchored in the in the becoming the becoming messiah his faith was anchored because he would trust god he had faith. And this is what God telling us. Trust me with everything. Don't lean to your own understanding. But God said, I want to give you peace in that situation. I want to give you joy in your life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Philippians. Let's go there. Glory be to God. Let's go to Philippians 2 and 13 let's go there and it says this for it is god come on which work work is in you in me is god when you trust him it's him working in you when people see your life change or, or things are not the same that's not the same joanne that's not the same person that i used to know then it's God working in them. He's working this righteousness. Their life are being changed to be more like his son, Jesus Christ. Come on. He said, for it is God which works in you. It's God that works in me. It's God that works in you if you trust in him. Come on. Both to will come on vote to be what god's will come on and to do of his good pleasure come on 
That's me. It's God's will in your life because you trust in him. When people don't, you don't do it the way the world doing it, it's, it's going to be strange. Because you're not doing like everybody else doing. You, you're not, you're not complaining and, and about things that they are complaining about. Come on. It's God working in you. Well, you can tell them, trust God. They may not still understand. But they might say, well, why you're not worried about what's going on? Because you trust God. You you know what God's words say. I never leave you nor forsake you. I'll preserve you from all evil. Come on. You know what the words say. You know what God spoke to you. You trust in the Lord. Come on. Then he directs in your path. If we allow God to direct our path, then a lot of this stuff we will not get into. A lot of confusion and things with others we will not get into. Strife, jealous, all of this stuff. We, we will just trust God or how he wants to lead us. A lot of times we get with people that don't suppose we love them, but they don't suppose to be in your life. I don't care how good they are. They're not lining up with the will of God in your life. I don't care how much they know God. They're still not lining up the way God taking you. It got to be God's will. It got to be God's will in your life. Glory be to God. Because it's him working in each and every one of us that trust in him. If you trust in him, let him work in you. Trust in with all your heart and lean not to your understanding of your life. And let God will take care of you. Let God will, come on, take care of all your needs. Let God's will, come on, get walk every step of the way for you. Come on, let God's will give you peace. Let God's will Get to be the power of your life. The power in your life. That's the work. He want to work that power in your life. That others may see and they'll see it's, it's a different and it's not the old you. This is a new person. It's a new person, new crea- creation. Come on, creator. Come on, they're creating you great things. You're a new creature in Christ. You knew be, be, you change. You're not the same creature you were. That old creature. You're a new creature. Now, God building you, molding you to more and more like his son. The more you trust in it, the more you you'll shine. That your light will shine so bright that what? Men will see God. They will see him and glorify. And say, I know that's God in her life. I know that's God in his life. That's God working in his life. Still, we will talk about knowing that, that that's God changed her. That's God changed him. Glory be to God. And that's what he said. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will. That's me. Both for what his will is and to do. That's what his will is. For us to what? Do his will. To do good and pleasant. Pleasure. Come on. We want he wants us to do good in life. That's his what he's working in you. He working peace in your life. That you shouldn't be walking around here with your head hung down, worried. A Christian should not. Those that say they know Jesus and they accept him as their Lord and Savior. The day is peace for you. Joy. No matter what you are facing, there is a joy that you didn't put there. It was God gave you that peace because you are walking in his will. 
You are trusting his will for your life. You are trusting his will for your life. Glory be to God. Let's go to Psalms 18. See, when you are trusting in God for your life, come on. Psalms 18 and, and 20 tells us this. The Lord, come on, reward me according to my righteous and according to the cleanness of my hand has he what? Recompensed me. That's me. And he said, and, and he keeps the way. And, and, and for I keep the way of the Lord. Come on. But how not wickedly departed, those that are wicked departed from God. But David saying, look, I know the reward according to his righteous. I know how to walk in his righteous. Come on. He knows how to do it. And he's saying that because of he walking in his righteousness, then he knows that he's walking because what he cleansing him. He know how to walk in the right path, the good, like he said. That I'm working the good. And he was working the good in David's life as he continued to what? Walk in his righteousness. See, that's the will of God for us to what? Walk in his what? Righteousness. We must what? Walk in his righteousness. And as we walk in God's righteousness, then what? We're walking in the goodness of the Lord. Because we're obeying. And we're trusting. We're trusting in him. And when you're trusting in him, then you know you, you, you're not leaning to your understanding. You're trusting in the Lord. When you acknowledge him in everything that you do, knowing that God's going to direct your path, Come on. He said it. And we got to what? Believe what he said. We got to believe it. And if we believe what he said, let's go to um, first step alone. See, we just want to get down everything that God telling us. First of all, we got to what? Repent. The Bible saying those that had not accepted Christ and those that what? It is in Christ. Still stay in that path of accepting Jesus Christ. Continue letting God will. And those that have not accepted him, what he's telling you, the first thing for my will to come is to accept my son. Repent of your sin and say, yes. You open up your heart and say, Lord, come into my heart and say, yes. Repent of your sin. Come on. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Then the will of God begin to work, work in your life. Because you trust him all the way. Everything else will fall in, in the category that it's supposed to be in your life. I don't know the will for God for your life. Only you got to go to God and say, Lord, what is your will? Because we know what he said. My will be done. I will. God will, God, be done on this earth. While we're on this earth as it is in heaven. So that means I'm trusting in his will. Glory be to God. Let's go to um, 1 Thessalonians um, 4 and 3. Let's go there. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 3. And it says this. For this is the will of God, even our sanctification, that ye should... Are same from what? Fornication, sin. Fornication, we know what fornication is. You don't, that means sex outside of, of, of marriage. God don't want you. He wants you to get away from that. He's trying to sanctify you. That's what he, he's trying to make you a new creature. Those that have not, if you're practicing sin, he's saying right now, this is my week. This is part of my week. It's the what? Working you and working in you is the what? It's to sanctify these things out of your life. To attain yourself. To attain, attain yourself from fornication. 
that every one of you that shall know how to possess his vessel, process his vessel. You should know if you're in Christ, in the sanctification of honor. You should know your body is a living sacrifice for the Lord. Come on. The word of God in Hebrews 13 tells you is what? You should what? Every marriage that means woman and, ma and, and, and uh, male and female, not male and ma male, what God means that what he ordained, marriage. Every marriage that ordained by God, God will say that. Every man, marriage is honor in the bed. This is the word. It tells us that. It's, it's honor to God. Then God what? Honor it. But if we're living like we're living outside of God, he can't honor that. God cannot accept that. Come on. Let's go to Hebrews 4. The Holy Ghost just bringing the word, but I'm just saying what he said. Okay. The word saying in Hebrews that's Hebrews uh, 13. Like we said, Hebrews 13 and 4 say, marriage is honorable in all. Come on. And the bed is undefiled. But homongers and adulterers, God will judge. That's his will. He's going to judge. He's going to judge. And other sins also. Come on. Covenant is a lot of more. That we need to know. Because you could be doing it. It's not only just, just that one sin. No, there are many we need to know and need to be what? Recognize of what is God's will. Am I lining up with God's will? This is all what he was saying. That's what he's saying. Don't don't do those things. Don't get in that fornication get yourself from there that's what he's saying because that's not the will of god that's not the will of god to be what in that love that's not god's will for you that's not it come on that's not god's will what he said it's not god's will for you to be what? Walking in there. Let's go back to Thessalonians. First Thessalonians 4. And he says what? For this is the will of God. Now that's the will of God. This is the will of God. That we not walk in this in this in this place. For you know how to carry yourself. Because if you're in Christ. This is the way you're supposed to carry yourself. Christ is constantly sanctifying us, cleansing things away from us. You're a new creature. Your old life, you should not be practiced. If you say you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we should not. This is the word, and that go for every one of us. Don't fall short. That go for every one of us. Because you can fall short. Satan can get us to falling short, falling back. But God wants to sustain you from that. That's his will, is to keep you in, in perfect peace. To keep your life flowing in righteousness. That's his will. His, these all is the will of God. Is what being said today. Come on. Don't walk in it. This fornication is not the only thing. Come on. There are other things that we know. Yeah, even a baby know wrong from right. But if we get in this word and know and read and get an understanding and know how God wants us to live, we learn of him, then we'll know. You know when you're doing wrong because you won't have. Come on. We hide it because we know it's wrong. We hide from man, but we don't realize God sees us. He sees us. 
She already said, I already know what you're going to do. I know your thoughts. That's why you lean into your own understanding because you're doing it because everybody else is doing it and, and the people don't see you, but I see you. That's what God saying. I see. But this is what God saying. These are some of the things that the will of God. There's a lot of things. Lying and all of that. When we lie, we you sometimes we lie and mess up we, and you quickly God said, Lord, forgive me for saying this. Because you know it's wrong. That's how you know you in Christ and in the Holy Spirit correct you. He'll correct you. Don't get me wrong. That means you in this life you trust God. That's why he said in all that way. Knowledge me. That means when you do wrong, you acknowledge me because you acknowledge me. I'm going to correct you. But you just got to obey when he corrects. If he said forgive, you got to forgive because that's going to what? Correct you. That's going to put you back on the wheel of God. Come on. That's going to put you back. When you see the truth and you begin to obey it and trust, you're getting back on the wheel of God. This is how this works. That means he constantly leading me and guiding you because you knowledge in them and everything, all your way, me, my bad ways and my good ways. I'm acknowledging God. And he's the one going to direct my path because he's going to direct and say, no, uh-uh, you're not going there because that's not my will. He's going to lead you, your path in, the, in his will that you don't need that. This, is, this hill is going to take you down and I don't want you to go that way, so follow me. This is what God will is in our life. And we got to allow his will to be. Let him work in you. That's his will. Let him work in you. Come on. Now, yeah, you can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but you cannot still trust in the Lord. You just say, yeah, I accept you, Lord. I believe that. But as you continue, you got to continue to believe that. Before the working process can continue in your life. Glory be to God. We just thank God for his word today. We thank him for this was a powerful word. And the word is to us, God, let God's will. Come on. What is God's will for your life? What is God's will? Let God's will be done in your life. Come on. God's will for you. Come on. What is his will for you? Not what other people's will is. No, what God's will is for you. That's what we all, we got the word that he wants you to acknowledge him, that his ways, our ways is not God's way. So we need to what? Acknowledge him in all our ways. And he will what? direct your path he wants to direct your path come on he already know i already know the plan that i got for you i already got it planned it out stop trying to plan it yourself i already know the way i must you must go i already know this i already prepared it that way even when you was a baby or uh, in your mother's womb i already prepared your plan for your life but we get out of it because we are in this flesh and we get out of the wheel because there are so many distractions. But watch this distraction and stay in the will of God. Glory be to God. So we like to give someone an invitation to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and come into the will of God today. This is the day to say yes to Jesus Christ. And I need you, Lord, and I need you, and I repent of all my sin, and I believe in my heart that God sent you to the cross, and you died for my sin. That's all you got to believe, that he died and God raised him up. Come on. That we now can have life, and I now have the access. Just believe that you can say yes today. Lord, I need you in my life. 
have your way in me and he will know that you have opened up your heart because god sees the heart glory be to god we just thank god for his word today this is ministry joe and harris this is the word faith ministry glory be to god and i love you and god god love you all more praise the lord hallelujah